caught up in the political situation, don't know what to do, feel a little bit helpless, maybe the situation for some is hopeless, just, remind, uh, just a reminder that here the Word of God speaks about prayer. Our Lord tells us to pray. We're going to be reading from the book of 2 Timothy, excuse me, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. Here is what St. Paul writes there to young Timothy. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. This has now been witnessed to at the proper time, and for this purpose I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, and a true and faithful teacher of the Gentiles. St. Paul writes these words. I'm Pastor Krause coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee. Our Lord directs us to pray and to pray for those who are kings and those who are in positions of authority, whoever they may be, President Joe Biden or whoever else the Lord has put over us in this political world. We are to pray for them. Now, I think these words are sort of uh, amazing if you will, because Paul is telling people to pray for those in authority. And the person who was the Roman Empire, a Roman emperor at that point, was Nero of all people, a person who had Christians killed regularly, a person who uh, used Christians to be torches for his garden parties at times, a person who would feed the Christians to lions and other wild beasts. Paul says, pray for Nero. Pray for all those in authority. And why do we pray in those situations? Well, it gives us some reasons and some things to specifically pray for. We should pray that we would be able to leave, live quiet and peaceful, healthy lives in this world. What a blessing. We don't even think about it. But what a blessing to live in peace. What a blessing to know prosperity. What a blessing to get up and do the things that we want to do or we have to do for ourselves, for our families, for our business. And no one's telling us what to do. No one's directing and forcing us this way or that way. And in addition to living peaceful and quiet lives in this world, our God reminds us that we pray that his will be done. And his will is that all people would be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. What a blessing when people hear the gospel in a country like ours, in a country where we have religious freedom. They hear the gospel. They believe in the words of Jesus Christ and their life is changed. And Paul tells us, you know, I'm not just anyone telling you these words. He says, I am a herald. That is, I am a person who has been called by God not to give you my message, but to speak to you the very word of God. I am here to present to you what God has to say. I am a herald. I am an apostle. I have been called directly by the Lord Jesus Christ uh, to serve you and to serve other people. And so I say to you uh, here, clearly from this section of the word of God, Pray for people. Pray for those people that you like. Pray for those people who are your enemies. Pray for all in authority, whether that is your political persuasion or not. Pray so that you might live in freedom, that you might have a life that is blessed by God. Pray so that more and more people might be able to hear the gospel and come to the message of everlasting life in Jesus. God bless you today.